So last week was a pretty busy week. As many of you know, I've been spending a lot of time interviewing authors for our podcast book talk today. It's something that I'm really passionate about because even before going and doing the book reviews and doing this channel, I've always wanted to interview authors and it's amazing that the opportunities just come around really in the last year or so. We've recorded 41 episodes now or released 41 episodes and have recorded 50 up to the end of November, I think now, or end of October now. And last week we got the opportunity to interview three more authors for the podcast. So I just wanna quickly talk about some of these books. So the first one was The Status Game by Will Storr, and this is a pre-published version. So this isn't what the cover will look like. And this is coming out on the 2nd of September. And his books are some of my favorites, Will Storr's, which is, you know, The Science of Storytelling, Heretic, Selfie, and his new book, Status Game, which is looking at how status runs our society. So it looks at tribal, uh, leaders, it looks at what tribes were like and how they were able to manage status and how status is managed in our society right now. And the podcast that has actually come out this week, which is his, uh, Wednesday this week, is with uh, Justin Morozzi about Islamic empires. If you've followed the podcast, then you'll know that I'm a big fan of uh, history, but uh, specifically Islamic history. A, a big part of uh, our discussion actually was Kabul, so Afghanistan, with, with everything that's happening now. And it was interesting talking about this because some of the things that are happening now are just being played out through history as well, which is a very interesting book. And I'm looking forward to share that discussion as well, which will be out this week, Wednesday. And the last one, which actually an interesting conversation uh, with uh, Donald Robertson uh, on, with his book, uh, How to Think Like a Roman Emperor, which is based on the, the Stoic philosophy proposed by or or acted out by Marcus Aurelius. He wasn't one of the founding members, but he was probably one of the most famous Stoic proponents. Yeah, those were some of the books that I've been reading this week. But one of the things that I really had been thinking about this week was, why do I read? It's a question that I get every single week on my live Q&A, and I've been thinking about this, and I, I journal about this quite a bit in, in my journal. And I think it's important to sort of discuss this. When I was younger, I usually just read fiction books, you know, the Roald Dahls. I read some of the Harry Potters, but not all of them. And there was this series called The Cherub Series by Robert Muchmore. And I remember one of the first interactions I had with an author is that Robert Muchmore came to our school. And I had, I think at that point, he probably had three or four of his Cherub Series out and he signed uh, them them for me. So as I come to think about some of the principles that I've learned or some of the things, reasons why I think everyone should read, it really comes down, like I said, to intellectual curiosity, but it also comes down to perspective. You see that when you read and you consume different ideas and different philosophies and different principles, you're balancing two or more ideas in your head at one time. And I think sometimes people get, get into this mindset of just reading one thing and absorbing one type of viewpoint of the world, and then they get consumed with that one. And then anytime they read something or they see something that goes against that viewpoint, they automatically sort of go into their shell and become very reactive to that person. But by reading things that are constantly against the way that you view the world, it's almost like you're becoming I mean, you're, it's like a vaccine or you're immunizing yourself to things that are against your viewpoint. And I think that's so important. Like I cannot stress how important that is because you then don't become reactive to when you come across someone who doesn't agree with you. Whether you think you're right or whether I think you're right, it doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. It's whether you understand the other person. That's the most important thing. Like I might not agree with you on many, many different things, but if I can understand where you're coming from, that's the main thing, because then I can sort of understand your theory of how you came to that thought process, be it your background, be it your education, or just being your thought process about something. And if I can understand that, that means I can relate to it, rather than seeing your way as being the right way, because the right way sometimes can be misconstrued in many different ways. So I think reading is really important and this is why I think everyone should do it is because you're immunizing yourself to different viewpoints and that means you become less reactive. The issue I have sometimes is that people equate material success to reading and I don't think that's necessarily the case. I think if you're reading because you're trying to gain material success then your reading's not going to last because you're attributing someone that something that's a lifelong 
exercise with something that is a short-term mindset. I feel like if you're reading just because you want to be materially successful, it's not going to last. So you just need to have that awareness and I, I don't think that that is the right way to approach it. I think it's a byproduct potentially, but I don't think it's a, a corollary. I don't think they go hand in hand. I think it's a byproduct. So thank you everyone for watching this video. Uh, I would love to know your thoughts about why you read. Put your comments and put the reasons about why you read. I would love to hear them and have a discussion in the comments. I think this is a really important topic and one that I'd love to get your reasons about why you read. And yeah, put them down there and I look forward to the discussion and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Before you go, I just want to let you know that every month I send out a monthly newsletter that includes book reviews, book recommendations, and author insights from my weekly podcasts with authors. The newsletter is totally free and the link is in the description below. It would mean the world to me if you did subscribe.